Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to show you how you can use some very basic PHP and server-side includes to put consistent content on multiple pages. Okay, so I've got a basic page set up here, and actually I've got several. I've got uh, five per ten pages, and they're all they're all identical except for a little bit of a headline one text difference and stuff like that. So nothing too unusual about them. They do have a header. They've got a generic div for a sidebar and a generic div for content. Now I do have a style sheet controlling these pages, but I haven't referred to the style sheet in any of my. Um, pages so that's why they look like plain black text on a white background so nothing fancy there. Now you'll also probably notice is that these files have a PHP extension so although these are at the moment super normal HTML web pages they do have a PHP extension which is perfectly fine your web browser can open PHP files just as easily as it can HTML files. Now I'm using PHP extensions because these pages are very soon going to contain just a little bit of PHP and I want that extension on there so the server knows to look for the PHP codes on this page or similar pages. So let's go ahead and take care of this right away so you can see how this works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a, uh, a new blank file on my text editor and I'm going to go ahead and write out my link tag REL style sheet hyper reference equals, and I believe I have a folder called styles, SSI style.css. There we go. So I've got that link tag. And I want this link tag to be on all of my pages. Let me go ahead and save it. Um, this isn't my styles file. This is going to be an include file. So I'm going to go ahead and call this uh, SSI uh, head section.inc. So I'm going to save this file with an INC extension, which is just a generic text file extension which kind of lets me know that this is an include file so I'm giving it all, um, all lowercase no spaces INC extension so I've got that saved very good I'm going to show you something else you might find useful about this I'm going to go take my Google Analytics code and this is a chunk of code to track your pages and visitors and stuff like that and you want to have it on every page you want to track so I'm going to go ahead and copy this code and I'm also going to include it on my include file. So by doing this technique, I'm going to have my Google Analytics code on every page in my website. So I'll go ahead and save that. Now here it goes. I jump over to my first PHP file and I'm going to put in a brief line of PHP code. It's very easy. Angle bracket question mark PHP space include, spell the word include properly, and then a little parenthesis, single apostrophe, and where my include file is. So I'll just put in SSI head section.inc. Semicolon, technically probably could skip that part, but question mark angle bracket. So, so this is the important chunk of PHP, and I'm going to take this little line here, and I'm going to paste it on all five of my web pages. So instead of pasting all of this on all five of my web pages, I'm only pasting this little chunk of PHP include code. I'll go ahead and save everything. Now I need to do a quick publish because in order to test this out, you need to be on a server that has PHP. In and there's the file. Notice it's got some styling now, at least centered, and this is marked off. So that's pretty good. Um, so all the pages will have that. There's SSI1.php, and there's page 4. See, they've, they've all got the same styling. Now check this out. If I right click and view the page source code, notice that it's got my link tag in there to my style sheet and it's also got my Google Analytics code. That's what's nice about server side includes. The data is included at the server so by the time the user loads up the page in their browser all of that stuff is in there just as if you had typed it in. So nobody can just view your source code and tell that you're using server side includes. It just looks like the page was all typed up that way. I want to have my navigation menu on all of my pages so I need to kind of type up a navigation menu. There we go. So I've got my basic navigation menu created. It's just an unordered list with some list items. You can ignore the IDs I have in there. That's just for some styling. So let me go ahead and save this. And this is going to be my 
SSI nav menu.inc. So I'm just saving it as an include file. Go ahead and save that. Jump over to my pages. And I'm going to put in my PHP line. So same thing I did before, include. And this is going to be SSI nav menu.inc. I'm going to copy this. And this is going to go into all of my pages. I put it in the right spot though in my sidebar. Indentation not important. Everything looks good there. Save them all. Head back over to my browser. And there we go. Now the all pages will have the navigation menu on there. That's what makes it so easy to manage multi-page, large numbers of pages in a website just by having these include files. So all of the consistent content that I want is stored on a separate include file. And then on my PHP files now, my web pages, I just have to put in that line of PHP include.